Welcome back, everyone. Akshay, what's something you wish you knew earlier about goal setting? Uh, the first thing is to, like you can reach goals without goal setting, and that's something that you know, you get to know uh, because you're like just because you don't like set goals doesn't mean life doesn't move forward. And because life does move forward, you do like you know complete things, achieve things, attain things, uh, receive things, and uh, when you go through those life experiences and you like you reflect on it, uh, I've got to know that you know like I've re- like I've done a lot of things, and then only when I did it, like I got to know, wow, this is amazing. Like and like if I had put that as a goal, like I have had to plan it, I probably wouldn't have. Uh, like it's like you know how in cricket matches they say uh, uh, you know a script couldn't have uh, been written better. Uh, it's the same thing with like you know these goals. I couldn't have written down these uh, these goals. And uh, I probably couldn't have done them even like a day before, you know, like, uh, like I achieved these goals and like things like that. Because you, like things just happen, you go with the flow. And uh, because like I didn't have uh, like anything else blocking me from doing this, uh, I was able to like you know, achieve like a bunch of goals. And like it doesn't have to be my goal as well. Like 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 if my friend has like a few goals and then you're know, like I'm able to like you know share it with him. That also like you know you get a lot of happiness. From achieving a goal, not but like you know, it doesn't have to be you who has to achieve the goal. Like even like like a friend does it, like it's actually you get the high. Um, so that's there. And then the I would say a third thing uh, with like this thing is uh, when you set goals, and then you're like sometimes because you try to achieve that, it becomes part of your identity with like a lot of your friends. And then, like, you know, like being able to have the strength to say, you know what, I'm going to take a break from that is something that uh, I had to learn. It was not, uh, it was not intuitive to me because, uh, like, it's a sunk cost uh, fallacy, right? Like, I've already told people, I've already put in the work. So, like, if I stop it, then all this wouldn't make sense. And so, for that, I, uh, like, for an example, like with my Spanish, I was getting better, but, like, you know, like with language learning, it, you know, it feels a lot of times it feels like, you know, there's like a, like a lot of stunted growth. And uh, because of that, I like every time like uh, like I wanted, I wrote down like a lot of uh, scripts and things like where uh, even if I forget Spanish now, like I would be happy for the experience that I had. And uh, you know, like so goal setting, uh, you know, it's a lot more it, because like, especially if it's like you know goals which take a long time to achieve, you have to really think about you know like how to make the journey fun and. Uh, how to make it worth it, even if you don't achieve the goal, unless sometimes you're like, the goal is like the most important thing. No, you're absolutely right. Because that over-identification that you mentioned earlier can set you up for not having, you know, healthy perspective and maybe even developing a not so nice relationship with your goals where you start being mean to yourself or you start ignoring other things in your life, as you mentioned um, so yeah, thanks for saying all of that. I think for me, you know, it's been the biggest takeaway from my journey of, you know, doing goal setting as someone who cares about engineering a lot of the aspects of my life is that sometimes you don't have to engineer every aspect of your life. Sometimes it's okay to just trust yourself and see what comes up because uh, you can get burnt out doing goal setting and you can get, you know, stretched too thin if you're trying to do um, if you're trying to exert your motivation in every single direction, there is, you know, a lot of other ways to go about life, like being in flow, like following your purpose, like, you know, paying attention to your body, being mindful that can also get you to the place that you want to be that might not be as structured as goal setting. Um, the other thing I would say is watch out for any kind of shoulds or musts in your goal setting. So if any goal setting is happening because you should be doing something or you must be doing something, in my experience, that's not always the most conducive for motivation. You know, it's not always the most conducive for keeping going because that that pressure is coming from a place that, you know, might not be the best for us. Um, and then finally, make sure that you combine science or you know all of the psychological theory or any of the tools that you see online with self-science and observations of yourself to make sure 
that you're combining the best of both worlds. So you're not just like taking something and assuming it's going to work for you. Also take into account who you are as a person, the resources you have, what makes you happy, what drives you, uh, what you are truly capable of. Because one without the other, you know, I feel like it's it can get tricky. Um, so yeah, all of that. Good luck, everyone, with any of the goals that you might be setting. Uh, Akshay, do you have any closing thoughts? Yeah, uh, I would say uh, I feel like the ending that he said, where uh, like I, I want to like, like, use your ideas, but I put it into my words, which is uh, instead of uh, keeping your identities as like the goals you're trying to achieve, maybe keep the identities of why you want the goals to be achieved, mm -hmm. where the goal is just a tool to get uh, like what you actually want. So uh, like re like reaching a stage, let's say like if you want uh, like if you want money then like you can get money through investments, you can get money through job. Like, it, there's a lot of ways. And like, you know, like your goal might be, you know, like uh, the job or like, the investment doing well, uh, getting better at it. But so you do need to have like smaller goals. And uh, sometimes you, you need to, uh, you know, understand why you're doing it. And the why really has to be like the part of your identity and not really the what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why and not the what. I love that because then that also helps you get over things like fear or fear of failure, fear of not making it. If you have the why centered in any of your goal setting, then the rest is something that you can easily navigate. Um, so thank you everyone for joining this week's discussion on goal setting. Be sure to check out any of the other topics that we've covered. You can find those on our YouTube channel and we will see you again next time. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Hey, while you're still here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get new updates when we post videos. Also, make sure to check out these equally exciting videos as well. Have you pressed it yet? Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, press it now.